Located eminently far from modern civilization lies the former home of Mrs. Elsa. After her husband died, she lived alone for years in his comely little wooden house in the middle of the wilderness. She was a woman who appreciated the little things, watering the flowers in her garden or enjoying the sound of the birds and nature. She just loved having nature around her. Unfortunately, no single life lost forever, and her grateful life also came to an end a few decades ago. The house has since been forgotten in the middle of this wooded area. Today we will go on a treasure hunt and take you back in the past in her red shabby house. So welcome back everyone, there we are walking again somewhere in a huge forest in Sweden. We've not seen a house for I think nearly 10 minutes in this proximity of the forest and we are going yet to an abandoned house and I'm wondering what it actually is doing here in the middle of the forest, it's so strange. It's raining a little bit, it's cloudy. It's giving a very mysterious atmosphere to where we are walking. Okay, so apparently there is not even a pathway leading to this house. So I think we have to cross the field over here. We will probably get a complete wet pants because <laughs> we have to cross all the vegetation over here. Um, it's so so strange like back in the days how did these people actually reach their house that's what I am often wondering with locations like this <laughs> oh we are literally in the middle of like a forest but it's the vegetation is so dense and please be happy that I'm going first because I literally feel spiderwebs everywhere there are so many. <laughs> Do you still need a Christmas tree? Ah, oh, they are actually quite sharp. Okay, there we start on our journey through this complete field, just full of trees and bushes. Luckily no brambles, then it would have even been worse. All the time I'm looking if I see a roof or something, a sign of a house. I don't see anything yet, it's very, very strange.
Watch out because there is also uh, some points of water here. <laughs> you know, you might think it's miserable to walk inside of here, but then if you start to imagine it, it's actually an unforgettable experience to be here in Sweden and just walk through everything. Oh, finally, we can capture a glimpse of the roof of the building. We actually stopped recording, but ever since we stopped, we've been walking, I think, for nearly 20 minutes. But finally, there is a house. <laughs> wonder above wonder. But the way to reach it, unbelievable. <laughs> really unbelievable. It must be abandoned for a very long time. The bad thing is actually that it's raining and everything is soaking wet and slippery too. Oh, no way. There is even another lake in between this. Oh, there is the house right in front of us and we nearly reached it, but there is a ditch we have to cross. <laughs> Your face speaks volumes. <laughs> My gosh. This is literally so secluded from everything. It's probably one of the most secluded houses I've been to. Okay, so this is the point where we're actually gonna try to cross the ditch. <laughs> if I get wet feet, so be it. But I have to risk it for the hobby. Okay, ready for it? Woo, it's so slippery here. Okay, three, two, one. Oh. Okay, you can literally see where I jumped. Please be very careful, Sarah. Oh, you actually did very well. Certified Explorer. Okay, finally there we are. After all this hiking, all these efforts. It's like a little storage.
you can literally see how secluded this place is. It's in the middle of nowhere. There is nothing nearby. And then there lies this tiny cottage with the name Elsa's Cottage. Abandoned and neglected for decades. Just completely forgotten in time. My gosh, let's go inside. If it's open, hopefully, but it is. Finally, we have some shelter from the rain. <laughs> so happy. Oh, it's very, very decayed. But have a look, wow, it's actually very, very cute. This tiny little cottage. Oh, literally the floor is collapsing over here. Wow. How cute is this? It's actually so, so tiny. Wow, and over here we can see actually Elsa, the woman who lived here. She's working in the garden. This might have been a photo from her when she was still younger. And this was definitely on her wedding day. Maybe this was their son. He looks like he was a sailor. Over here a little sewing box. That's probably how Elsa spends some of her leisure time. Wow. <laughs> there are some medicines. They look like they are medicines for a cardiovascular disease. Some more old photos. Where a woman. Another photo. It's actually the same woman. Christmas decoration. <laughs> it's such a cute little cottage. Look what's all hanging here on the chairs. All these hats. Vanity over here. 1921 the saying here and look at this hat actually it has this plume hanging on it avant gas is written on it So over here on the inside, there is actually a name of a man, Owe Patterson. So it was family Patterson who lived inside of this tiny cottage many, many, many years ago. It's definitely not livable anymore. You cannot even reach it. Vintage camera. There's a little poo or something. Maybe a diary. Oh no, it's a holy Bible. All right, let's put it back how I found it. And where are even some more old photos. Again, in the same garden, we can see Elsa together with her mother. I don't know why there is garbage bags. But it seems that they are filled with some stuff of the interior, many books. Again, a lot of books over here. It's so beautiful how this just lies here, forgotten, deep inside 
of an ag agricultural landscape and all the forests around it. And I absolutely love to see this. This was the woman, Elsa, actually sitting right inside of her home here. You can definitely relate that this is the same room where I am standing right now. Many, many years later. And then you really get a strong awareness of the fact that life is just a temporal value. Over here also a letter dedicated to her, Elsa Patterson, the woman together with her husband, Owe. I actually love the fact that there are so many old photos and prints. You really can imagine who the people were who lived there and how their life used to be. Family ancestors here on the wall. Also have a look at the sofa. Very different from other sofas we've seen in other countries. Then there is a very tiny stove. Oh, and this was their little kitchen. Still everything is just there on top of the furnace, some kettles, some pans. However, I have to be very, very careful because the floor is very weak and I think the place is pretty close to collapsement. Oh, you can tell. My gosh. It's literally very, very close to collapse. still even some more pans and some food some confiture on top okay let's see it seems that there is also a way up i think this was only a little attic oh, but a beautiful one This was actually way more than an attic. There was many newspapers, a desk over there. Look at this chest. Still some clothes inside. at this some ice skates <laughs> that's actually very very cool also all the wooden things what were they actually used for seems like it's a complete mechanism there's also some storage of clothes here Where there's more clothes hanging up. Tiny pocket radio. Where are you? Some razor knives. I think this was used to hang your coats up. Oh, and again, a spinning wheel, of course. We found it multiple times before now here in Sweden. And on this one, there's even still some wires of wool. A 
Also some tiny baby shoes next to this tennis racket. Actually here in this jar, there's many coins left behind. I think those are some Swedish crowns or crowns. This is a coin from 1984. This one from 1968. Wow, some very old coins. Oh, and if I'm not wrong, actually on top of this cabinet is the sailor's head I was talking about from their son. Have a look. Yeah, it's this head from the actual photo we've seen. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is absolutely mesmerizing. It's so crazy to imagine this was once worn by him. Where are even many other of these coins? Okay, let's go back down again. Okay, let's go outside before it might get dark because it gets dark so early in Sweden. Let's check out the outbuildings. This might be one of these other buildings which was used for wood storage, which we found before. Hmm, it's actually locked here. Can I detach this? It doesn't work. Well, I can open this one, I guess. Oh, but there is so much mess behind it. If I open it, it will all fall down. What the heck? So much garbage. Many clothes here too. Look, there is even skis over there. So I found ice skates, there are skis. Oh, and on top, many shoes on the plank. <laughs> Actually very cool. I think I also spotted something in the woods there. Oh yeah, there is a very, very vintage car left behind. Okay, there we go. This is amazing. Just forgotten in the woods. Lies this vintage beauty. <laughs> wow. That is just amazing. It's so heavily decayed. Bars are just literally falling off. It's actually a very, very old Renault. That's a classic one, for sure. Very sad to see such a beautiful classic car just left behind to rot in the middle of the woods and just unloved. And that's where I actually want to close this video. This was such a unique building. It might be a very tiny cottage, but those buildings are actually one of my favorites. It was a complete adventure to actually get there and reach this place. And there were so many beautiful vintage things left behind, personal memories, sadly enough, 
old photos of Elsa and O, her husband, the vintage car, the outside shed. It was just an incredible exploration in my opinion. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you did, you know the drill. Please, as always, hit the like button for this beautiful place in Sweden. Uh, also leave your thoughts in the comment section right down below about what you think of the Sweden series. And if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, you can do it for free right down below. Then as always, I want to wish everyone a wonderful week and we will see you on our next adventure in Sweden, hopefully without the rain. Peace out.